Aibowan, Balakam, Mama Ketchak Kondamai. Good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Guten Abend, meine Damen und meine Herren. Buenos Sera. The language diversity of what's to follow now. Honorable Minister Harin Fernando, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen from Sri Lanka's travel and tourism industries, friends of the media. Welcome to an evening you're going to remember for a quite a long time to come, actually. Tonight's story began 40 years ago, way back in 1981, when the ambitious and enterprising young Chandra Vikramasinghe dream became reality. It was Connaissance de Ceylon, which in French means knowing Ceylon. The little office was at Havelock Town, and the trademark logo, akin to a square postal stamp, with the dominant rays of the sun radiating outwards. The man and the brand had a symbiotic relationship. They grew together. They faced both their ups and their downs together, resolute and determined. And both came out stronger and even more determined. With humble beginnings as an inbound tour operator, Chandra wanted to promote ecotourism in this country, eco-cultural. Eco and invested in the local, uh, the hotel arm many years ago with the vision to promoting Sri Lanka as an authentic, as a diverse and eco-cultural destination. Tonight is a landmark in the journey as we rebrand theme resorts. Each of them totally contrasting in their geographical locations and diverse in their experiences, but the underlying motive being the warmth and the excellence of Sri Lankan hospitality. To begin this evening, we will go back in time to our very own roots, to the aborigines of Ceylon, to the Vadda community, the inspiration for the last property of the collection in Galloya. We have a special performance which has been choreographed by Chandaratana Master from the Samadhi Kalatana in Aruradhapura, lyrics composed by, written by Chandra Bikrama Singha, and the music composed and sung by Nadika Guruge, whom we are happy to have here with us today, together with his students from the School of Music of the Sri Lanka Technological Campus. Enjoy what you see, ladies and gentlemen. Mama 
Pico Mata and Mando Coran Yang, Cabilanta de Pumalta and Mando Coran Yang, Marful Pojaka Mang Mando Coran Yang, Palo Soka Kala Betty, Hey Manga Janang, Mata Jam Pico Mata and Mando Coran Yang, Cabilanta de Pumalta and Mando Coran Yang, Marful Pojaka Mang Mando Coran Yang, Palo Soka Kala Betty. Ladies and gentlemen, the dancers came this morning all the way from Anuradhapura. I think you can give them a better round of applause to all of them. A new beginning, the rebranding. And, and now enjoy what you see on screen right now.
This is it. This is it. Pema Collection. And now to share with you the idea and the rationale behind the rebranding of 11 team resorts, we'd like to invite four key persons from the Tema Collection. Mohammed, Manager Sales. Maxim, Director Marketing and Business Development. Shamin, Director CEO. And of course, last but not least, Chandra himself. Gentlemen, you had a variety of... You had a variety of names to choose from. Why Thema? And what's the reason behind Thema? Well, firstly, it's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. Uh, so I think, as many of you all have already guessed, Thema is the Sinhalese word for theme. So this is very true to our philosophy. And our philosophy is that we like to curate, uh, curate thematic properties that are based around the culture, the heritage, and the biodiversity of our beautiful island. Um, and you all must be wondering, theme to tema, just one letter's difference. Uh, but for us, it's very symbolic, because this is us going back to our Sri Lankan roots. I think especially, uh, especially in the last two years, we've had many challenges. We've had to look inwards. And we've also seen the mindset of the traveler change. And we see that people want authenticity, and people want authentic Sri Lankan experiences. And this will be a key pillar of our brand going forward even more than before. So theme becomes Thema with the Tayana and the Mayan forming the logo. Uh, Chanda, could you explain the composition of the logo with the leaf and the two flowers and the Ta and the Ma? Well, uh, Sinhalese characters are unique to the world. And especially these round characters, all the visitors who come here, and they say, what a lovely uh, language you have, what a lovely character you have. So we got th and m. We, we fusion it to one logo. Of course, we work very hard with our artists, our uh, in-house artists, Mahesh and Chanaka. And uh, after that, we want to create a nice logo which can talk about a experience. So the green leaf, green leaf is the nature of Sri Lanka in its luscious form and maybe green in Sri Lanka. The flowers, flowers are from uh, Dambul uh, temple uh, mural painting, which represent the serene and uh, aromatic uh, life of a sense of life of Sri Lankan people. So we put together this and another 11 small logos. We uh, represent also, all these logo individually represent an experience, experience to remember. Uh, elephants, then the fish, then you get to colonial era, then you go to tea, then you have uh, serene uh, Arved and yoga, then you have parangi, the, some sort of serangi with parangi, that is ceramics, and also uh, RV valigama. Then also we have two logos which are very precious. One is wild glamping. Wild glamping is a golden jeko. I think Dr. Kotagami is here. He has written a thesis about golden jekos of, uh, of Ratugala and Nilgala area. So this is uh, this. Uh, at the moment, it's listed red, red, uh, red, red list in IUC, ICUN. Then uh, the wild glamp in knuckles, uh, that, that's the very, very, very precious and very rare lizard called leaf nose lizard. Uh, well, leaf nose lizard, find only in mountain forest, wet mountain forest in Nakal's area, and it is endemic to Sri Lanka. So actually, we need to go on different, different logos, different, different uh, the themes and thematic uh, to enhance the knowledge base tourism in Sri Lanka. Thank you. I think I did everything? I yeah? think I did. Yes, you yeah? did. <laughs> Gentlemen, your journey of 41 years your portfolio is well known to Sri Lanka and Sri Lankans, uh, and you have thousands of guests around the world. So why 
rebrand all over again. I'm putting Shamin in a fix there. Yes, I think the same question must be going through our, our partners uh, uh, and the friends, also thinking what makes us to change from theme resource to Thema. Actually, we started Malu Malu from East Coast of this country. That was one of the best or the 100 top hotels within the world. Thereafter, we expanded ourselves to Alia, and thereafter, we went for a, a bungalows and glamping. And of course, at the end of the day, we went for Ayurved also. So we were thinking, we have come to a juncture where we are thinking whether we have really identified ourselves with the current branding called Theme Resorts. So because we offered 11 properties with 11 different experiences. So we have diversified ourselves, and we are going to from very, very theme, theme properties to more experiential based properties. So that's 11 properties, 11 different experiences. Actually, we put it together as it's a collection. I think the 11 properties give a unique experience to our guests, to our customers, which is, which is very unique and they can experience themselves with, when they are spending their holiday with us. I think that makes us to decide to, to look for a different brand, which we had a brainstorming with our team and we came up with a Thema collection. That's a collection of experience that we offered. We have enhanced our values, our brand values. We have enhanced it and we have brought in a lot of Sri Lankan aspect into it. All our culinary, our beverage aspects and all our hotels brought a lot of experience into the into our properties to make sure that our client, our, our guests will have a memorable, memorable holiday with us. That's what Thema is all about. Two words I picked from this chat would be authentic experiences. But having said that, just watch your screen now, ladies and gentlemen. Maxine, would you care to elaborate a little bit more on our keywords this evening, authentic experiences? Thank you, Kumar. Um, so I think as Shamin told you all, we have 11 properties, 11 experiences. So this really goes from the conception of Malu Malu uh, to, be, uh, to be styled after a traditional fishing village or a Vardia, 
our wild glamping properties, which are there to immerse ones completely in their natural surroundings, uh, to well, staying in a working tea factory in Mandaram Nuara. Each property is created after, after an experience, but under our tagline, different themes, authentic experiences, uh, we thought we really need to go further and curate a lot more experiences to really immerse our guests into the communities, into the nature, into the surroundings. So I think I won't talk too much because I think the video explained on it, but you know, from seeing the amazing wildlife and swimming elephants of Galloya, making your own tea uh, in uh, Mandaram Nuara, trekking the hidden trails of the Knuckles, uh, restoring coral in Pasikuda, uh, you know, the list is endless, you know, making your own pottery in Sigiria, recycling your own paper in Sigiria. So, you know, we have an endless list of experiences that we have curated. Some of them you all know, some of them are brand new. So this will be up on our website and uh, we'll be, I, our team will be, you know, visiting you all, telling you all, all about all our, uh, to all our partners. Uh, yeah, so I think our guests are really going to enjoy this and it's going to be a big plus point and it's really going to be an immersive experience for our guests. With such a heavy focus on authentic experiences, you might not have forgotten another keyword, parallel keyword of sustainability. Yes, uh, so for sustainability, I think it's very important and it has been an uh, ethos of us uh, from the start. Uh, so, you know, our properties are very different. So we have different challenges at each. We have different solutions, different uh, goals we, we are trying to achieve at each property. Uh, but, you know, there are a few common themes within all the properties. Uh, one is that, you know, from the conception, you know, we don't only create the theme the, of, the of the property, but we also like to uh, make sure that they're constructed in eco-friendly fashions. Uh, so one thing we're very proud about is that we do not have any air conditions in our lobbies or major restaurants. Uh, and another very uh, unique thing that we did in the conception was Ayurvi Sigiriya, which we built using uh, recycled earth bags, which were basically rice bags, which we recycled. And our latest property, which was Wire Glamping Galloya. This was especially, I think, challenging, but really close to our hearts because we built this in the height of the pandemic where we had to go local, but it was a great experience. We constructed it with local constructors. We worked. Uh, sourcing most of the material, I think almost all of the material from the region. So when we conceptualize properties, uh, being eco-friendly is very important. Um, moving on, uh, we also, you know, took steps towards reducing our plastic, uh, our single-use plastic usage. Uh, so, you know, sustainability is a journey, so I think we've come very, very far from where we were. We still have, I would say, the final hurdle to cross in, in this chapter, but we're very happy that we eliminated most uh, plastic bottles, moved to reusable toiletries, and um, yes, I think this is a, you know, we're quite proud of this. Another initiative, I think Professor Kotagama is here today, and even Medisha as well, who helped uh, us launch this initiative, is the BERI initiative. Uh, so BERI stands for Biodiversity Education, Educational Research Initiative. Here, our aim and our goal is to invite um, invite researchers, students, and uh, basically provide for them accommodation, logistical support to carry out research. We believe that for conservation, we need good research and we need, uh, we need that uh, to base all our conservation efforts. So we believe that this is hopefully going to be very crucial and will play a key part in conserving our beautiful environment. And moving on, uh, I think this is probably our first major project that we started. I believe this was one of the first major projects of such sort in Sri Lanka. Uh, our planter coral initiative in Pasikuda. Um, I recently just uh, snorkeled on in the area and I'm very happy to say that the corals are still doing quite well, which is uh, a bit of a tough challenge for most corals in Sri Lanka. So. Uh, we will be restarting this initiative as well. Uh, so I think this is something that's going to be very exciting. And, uh, you know, along with this, we have various different small scale or different initiatives, like I said, that are more suited to each property that we'll be taking. Uh, so for this as well, you all can contact me anytime, or I think most of the information will be on our website. So I would be very happy to, you know, speak to you all today, or, you know, we've got plenty of time in the coming months to speak about this. You just had a very detailed insight into the Thema collection, everybody. Now, marketing this is going to be another story. 
Uh, more about manager sales. Tell us how do you plan to take this collection out there to the world? Thanks, Kumar. <clears throat> we are very much confident that you have felt the essence of why Thema and why we are standing on. So we had crucial years starting with the East attack, then the COVID, and after that, the current economic crisis. So while all these situations are happening, we see our customer behaviors are changing. Their needs, their wants, their expectations are changing. So I think this is the time as an industry, we should be together and rise up as one to overcome this situation. So having said that, Thema Collection, starting a new beginning today, moving forward to change that, change that era. So I would love our partners to join us and continue the same process. So I would like to say, if you have any inquiries, please feel free to call my colleague, Tilan, myself, and my team. We'll be at your service. We can come to your office, do a presentation, educate you about our properties, our experiences, our facilities, and much more. So I just want to say one more thing before I wrap up. We can't clap with one hand. We should clap with both. That's you and us. So I think let's get together as a team to uplift our industry again and promote our destination. Thank you. Chandra, this has been a multi-dimensional journey from Pasikuda to your latest property in Galloya. What has this journey been like and anything more to come? Uh, well, journey was a very rough voyage, I should say. Very rough sea. But uh, now uh, in the pipeline, but we will not build another hotel. I'm a little bit getting anti-hotels now. We'll add some more experiences. Well, we are thinking of uh, Kalpitiya. We have a fantastic location there. I've been the Honorable Minister. I visited Kalpitiya recently. We'll be going there very soon. But I would like not to talk about other fish. These are all dreams. So we are dreaming together. Very soon, we realize those dreams too. So we're going to formally launch the website. I'd like to invite the Honorable Minister, Harin Fernando, on stage to do us the honors to uh, click the clicker and then we launch uh, the website of the Thema Collection on the count of three, two, one. Kuma, Kuma can I also invite uh, Rajita to come and join us, please? Yes, Seema. Rajita, where is he? Rajita, a partner for me, Marketing Eye, who made this website all possible. It's too small, you can Rajita, see Rajita, can we have on stage, yeah. please? Rajita come, come, had a deal with me. us as he walked in also. <laughs> So I'm ready, everybody, on the count of three, two, one. So three, two, one. This is the Thema collection, everybody, as you can see. <laughs> diverse experiences, diverse stories and themes, 11 contrasting products under one umbrella called the Thema collection. The website full of content, content-rich, image-rich, video rich, uh, please enjoy, explore, visit. And um, 11 lucky people here today are going to win uh, a voucher, uh, one night stay on full board basis at uh, these 11 properties. And of course, there's going to be um, Sri Lankan Airlines, thank you very much, the return air ticket to Singapore of to one of you, so 12 winners tonight, one goes to Singapore, and the others will enjoy an overnight stay on full board basis at one of the 11 uh, properties in the Thema collection. That's all that content-rich images and videos. That's, of course, later on. But this is what it's all about, about the Thema collection, the length and breadth of Sri Lanka experiences. Today also happens to be the Honorable Minister's birthday, if we all uh, went through social media. We have a birthday boy here, and a birthday requires a cake and candles and everything. 
Uh, I'd also like to invite State Minister of Tourism, Honorable Diana Gamage, on stage. Mr. Chalaka Gajabahu, Chairman, Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau. Mr. Thisum Jasuria, Sri Lanka, the Convention Bureau. Mr. Shiranta Piris, may we have on stage, please, of the Sri Lanka Institute of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Mr. Shanti Kumar, President of the Hotels Association of Sri Lanka. Mr. Nishad Vijay Tunga, President of Slito and Mr. Panduka Kirtananda, Chairman of the Tourism Advisory Committee. So, a surprise for you, Honorable Minister. Um, we have our two visitors from Andhra real, authentic Sri Lankan aborigines with us. And uh, we're going to sing first. So shall we all start, everybody? Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harim. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Chandra has got a few words to say about the birthday boy. Well, uh, what about the birthday boy, what can I say? Well, uh, this gentleman, our crowd here, we have uh, been in the industry for 40 years, 50 years, 30 years. I think we have known so many gentlemen as tourism ministers. Started from whom? Ananda Chisalvis, then to uh, Mr. Adhikari, then to Mr. Dharmasri Senaika, then to Mr. Lokuge, then uh, so many other ministers, now in the Senaika, then John Amaratunga at the end. Uh, then the, the, we got the youngest minister to take the challenge. I think he's going to go do the job because he's getting to naughty forties. So naughty forty is the best time for tourism. I think I have my personal experience, I think. <laughs> uh, so, I, all the best to you, sir. I think we will go along with you. We all, are, all our industry partners here today love to have you with us. And especially for us, it's a great, great, great honor. Because today is the day that you spend with your girlfriends, boyfriends, and all those things. But you are with us. You are a very friendly person. Thank you very much. Mama ke chak on the mic. Okay. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, distinguished invitees. Uh, at the outset, I'm very humble. Never expected this. I never cut a cake today. And I can't drink today because I transplanted my hair. So uh, it's, it's a bit of a bad day for me to have a birthday. Um, having said that, uh, at the outset, this, can we all give a round of applause to this gentleman who has done a fantastic service for Sri Lanka tourism? and for Sri Lanka as a country. So Sri Lanka owes you, sir. And also, the young man, what I was just thinking is, how did this whole thing happen? He has the experience, and the young guy has the out-of-the-box thinking. So I think that's where they gel well, and that's where these new ideas, the new innovative ideas come. As we all know, Sri Lanka is going through a very, very tough patch. I mean, the future looks very bad. It is a time that we all have come together, and I always believe uh, politicians or a government's job is not to run tourism, it is the industry. All we have to do is facilitate. And the facilitation should, ha should happen in the right spirit, the right way with no hidden agendas. And I think uh, what we lack is these kind of properties, high end. You're all selling Sri Lanka for a mere price, which should not be the case in future. Yes, short term, that's our only survival. But long term, I think we need to have a plan beyond 2024, 2025. I won't be there, but as long as we fix the policy and any government come, any politician come, the policy should remain. That's how I think we can only survive. So I don't want to 
keep you all day long. I know you all hate politicians, so I'm going to keep it very minimum. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's see this through, because I think what we need right now is that to say that Sri Lanka is ready, Sri Lanka can accept, and Sri Lanka we are, is a resilient nation. We, as a nation, uh, contributes a lot to tourism and to our economy. So I think the industry needs to uh, be geared up uh, for a very, very good uh, few years for us. And I think uh, people love Sri Lanka. It's just that we need to make sure that we love Sri Lanka as well. And the world loves us. Uh, we need to be positive about Sri Lanka, and we need to take that word out. So we have planned certain things for November. We have planned certain things for December. Short-term goals, long-term goals have been established. Let's all hope that we all come together, um, leaving everything aside but just our nation. And we are sitting on a treasure, and we are begging that should not be the case. Look at this Sri Lanka. Look at these visuals. I mean, it's absolutely sad to see that we have not taken this as the best destination in the world. So I'm sure with the experience of gentlemen like Mr. Chandra Vikramasinghe, the young man, his thoughts, I mean, this is the exact way that we want to see our tourism grow and the future will grow. So I'll keep it at that, and thank you for having me. I'm very humble about uh, cutting my cake. I'm not saying my age. Uh, I just only got one encouragement. I can have a second innings best to him, so uh, that's, that's very good on the 40. So thank you, guys. Enjoy your night, and all the best to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. And now Chandra has a few final words before we well, move on uh, to the garden. No, this is not, we are not nothing to drink here? No, the thank yous. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's thank. Uh, I think first of all, uh, we, are there, we are here today for lo with a very long, long journey because of you guys. Uh, all our DMCs with their partners, foreign partners, we are online... Uh, uh, all the operators. So thank you very much. You have been supporting us for last uh, long, long years. I think we, you will continue to support us. Uh, then all our uh, other clients, corporate clients, our bankers, bankers are doing an excellent job, uh, especially during this time, uh, the, our Sri Lankan market. Okay, of course, we, are, uh, we, are living, we had been living for last bad years with Sri Lankan market. Of it, without forgetting our uh, cricket board. So sometimes when they come, they take all our hotels, not only ours, so many other hotels. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, yeah, and just... also we have to thank to Sri Lankan and other airlines, especially Sri Lankan. They are always with us for last so many years. You are part and parcel of Sri Lanka tourism. You bring about uh, half at least 50, 60 percent of tourists to Sri Lanka. Thank you very much, Sri Lankan Airlines. To whom? Yes, and of course, all our associates, all which includes our, you know, our architects. I think Ramesh Fonseca, who created Malu Malu, is here. Our other architects like Kasun. Uh, all of the associates at all the hotels, all the communities around the hotels. And yes, almost everyone that you know helps us through this journey. A big thank you, and you know. And uh, also, not forgetting uh, BMICH, that young lady's name, Devanti, and uh, Mr. Sunil Disanayaka, and not forgetting young Sanatu Kwata <laughs> and his uh, Mount Catering team here. They have been doing a fantastic job uh, with us to make this event a success. That's all? Come I on. think that's it. Thanks I so think much. that's it, yes. Wait, wait. So. I had to thank you also, no? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Guys, I think uh, the evening is uh, just... Uh, yeah, and uh, by last but not least, all the people like you, media guys, sometimes they are very dangerous. If you don't thank them, they might try when it's something else. So don't do that. So I know all our media is with their pain. They have done so much good to tourism. And thank you very much, all the media guys here, and also our uh, presence of some TV channels here. Uh, thank you very much. Before we go to the garden to enjoy the cocktails, we'd like to share with you this very interesting video on the collection once again.
Well, the formal part of this evening is over. Thank you very much, all of you. Please join us outside for cocktails and refreshments. There's a very interesting photo booth, so please take your selfies with the photo booth and hashtag Thema Collection. See you all outside, everybody, right now.
Thank you.